Hello, 3D printer fans. Are you having under extrusion issues? You can't figure it out. Is your extruder arm broken? People on the internet have told you to get rid of the plastic extruder, replace it with the metal one. They've told you you're gonna break your extruder arm and you went, Psh, please, what are you people doing? How are you breaking your extruders? What are you like, abusing your equipment? I got news for you, they really do break. Is yours broken? Let's find out. So you're printing and suddenly you're noticing in your prints, you're getting perforation like this. Or a closer look like this. These are layers that just for some reason aren't printing fully. You're adjusting your E-steps. You're doing your leveling. You're doing your flow rate. You're doing your Z offset. And you just can't get it right. I got news for you. Your extruder arm might be broken. What you should do is take your extruder off and remove the arm. You may find out that instead of looking like this, your extruder arm looks like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, how about that? There is no way this roller can put proper pressure on your filament when it's broken like this. That means your print defects are not something with your settings or your calibration. Your print problems are with your broken extruder. I use the official Creality Metal Extruder and I recommend you do too, but you can make your own decision. There are two versions of this extruder you may see online. One is red, one is silver. I go with the silver one for the specific reason that it says Creality on it and I know I'm getting the right official authentic extruder. And this is what the metal arm looks like. As you can see, it is metal, not plastic. And it is a whole lot better built than the cheap plastic junk that came with your 3D printer's extruder. This is the broken section on the plastic extruder. And this is what it looks like on the metal one. And of course, this is what it looks like on an intact, non-broken plastic one. Worth noting, in this baggie right here, is your gear. It is possible that the soft metal this gear is made out of could have worn out and your filament has worn a groove into the gears so the gears aren't grabbing the filament well anymore when turning. So you could have a two-fold problem, a worn gear, a broken extruder arm, or a worn gear and a broken extruder arm. So get online, get the all-metal extruder from Creality, change the extruder, change the gear, and eliminate this as a cause for under extrusion in your Creality 3D printers. I will provide a link in the description below to this exact extruder. So after some time with two Creality Ender 3 version 2s, I can confirm that the plastic extruder is absolute junk and you should go with the all metal Creality extruder. Because the plastic arm that's supposed to look like this after a short amount of use will look like this. So replace it with a metal extruder arm that looks like this and you'll be much better off and won't have random unexpected under extrusion problems with a secret hidden invisible problem that you can't see with your naked eye and that's a broken extruder arm hiding on your cheap plastic extruder. So get the Creality all metal extruder with the all metal extruder arm and fix that problem right now. You are watching Greg Adventure. I'm Greg and replacing the plastic garbage extruder with this nice all metal extruder is today's adventure.